Hey everyone, Jim Shields here. A big question right now, especially with the Fed's raising interest rates, is do interest rates affect real estate investing in Florida? Now that's a great question. Now what you really have to do though is ask yourself a couple of questions to be able to answer that. The first question is, what are values doing? You see, a big question for me is always, if values are increasing and rates are increasing, which is going faster? Which is increasing more? Currently in Florida, for example, the values are going up a lot quicker than the interest rates. So when you're in a new construction home that's being built, let's say it's eight to 10 months out, you have to ask yourself that question is, yes, if there's an interest rate rise, will that affect be more on the values. What we're seeing right now is the values are going up a lot quicker than the interest rates, which is a very positive thing. Now, if it was going the other way and values were coming down or staying stagnant, well, that would be a different consideration that you'd wanna look at as well. The second thing you wanna look at is what are rents doing? This is a major question. When you're buying a new construction or any property for cash flow, it's really important to know what rents are doing. Now in certain markets, if rents are going down and your interest rates are going up, that could really squeeze cash flow and be a bad sign for future growth in the investment you're making. A lot of times when I've bought investment property, I've had a rent at a certain amount and I've looked out 24 to 36 months to see where the rents are supposed to be going in the next time period for that. And if that rent is supposed to be trailing upwards, that helps me make my real estate investing decisions. Right now in Florida, from last year to this year, we're showing a little over 18% growth in rental increases. That's a great number and part of the positivity of the inflationary effect. If the interest rates are going up slower than the rental increases, that keeps you at a good equilibrium, especially in the holding time. And what we're seeing right now for a lot of our investors is as they're waiting for their property to be finished being built, those rent raises are going up so much quicker than the interest rates that they're actually in a better position by the time the property closes. This is something that you wanna look at for the overall of the interest rate. And the interest rate also can go up or down. And a question that you wanna ask yourself right now is, do you believe interest rates are going to go up or do you believe that they're gonna go down? Now, if you believe that interest rates are just gonna continue going up and going up, then a question you wanna ask yourself, would it be better to get into a property now or to wait 18 months to be able to get into it at that time? Well, probably if it's going up consistently and that's what you believe, the sooner that you get in, the better that you're going to do. Now, another question is, do you think interest rates are going to go down? If interest rates are gonna go down and you're getting into a property now, that's the beautiful thing of having the power of a refinance. By being able to refinance your debt at a later period, six months, 12 months down the road, you'll be able to get in at a lower interest rate. Now, I do not have a magic crystal ball, but I do talk to lenders. One of the first things I do when I see the feds raising rates or issues with the bonds is I go to my lenders who have been in the game a long time and ask them what do they think rates are going to do. Right now, every lender that I work with has said they do believe that rates are going to go back down sometime towards the end of the year. That's their prediction for a couple of different reasons, and I think it makes sense. If you look to the side here, you'll see this Fed chart of what interest rates have done for many, many years in the US. And you'll see when there's different periods in the economy happening, you'll see a quick spike going up and then a drop in the rents about six months later. This seems to be a common cycle that occurs with the interest rates. Again, this is the Fed chart of over many years, so it's something that you wanna consider because usually history repeats itself. But still, ask yourself that question. If you believe interest rates are gonna go down, well, then it's probably okay because you mean you can refinance at a certain period of time close down the road. And if you believe they're gonna keep going up, well, that's really important for you to get in right away because you wanna get the best rate that you can for the long term. So interest rates, when you're investing in Florida, have a couple of different parameters. First, see what values are doing. Are values predicted to continue going up? Is the inflation gonna continue shooting the values up or not? Something you need to know. Are rents gonna to continue to go up? If rents are gonna to continue to go up, and in that holding period of when you're getting built, would that work better in your favor or worse, even with incremental growth in interest rates? Another important aspect with interest rates is what kind of loans are you using with your interest rates? 
So again, there are the common, most common type of loan out there is the 30 year fixed mortgage, right? You're going to get your 30 year fixed mortgage and every month you pay off some principal and a lot of interest and then you're amortized out over 30 years. Now in this time where a lot of the banks want to go into safer things in case there is a recession, the banks love our type of real estate. Why? Because it performs the best in recessionary times and seems to stay the most steady. So there are other options available out there besides the 30 year mortgage. Some of our lenders now, and a lot of you know, are offering 40 year mortgages with the first 10 years being interest only. So what does that do? Well, if you have the first 10 years at interest only and it's fixed, it's a fixed rate all the way through, you're able to recapture that debt pay down that would just be going into a basic savings account that you couldn't use, but actually become cash flow to you. Debt reduction is a great thing, but you can't access the cash of your debt reduction. It just sits there more as a savings account you can't get to. When you go to a fixed interest only, you're now leveraging the property to be able to produce more cash flow for you. And as long as you're at a long term fixed interest rate, you can really up your cash flow in skinnier times while the rents are still catching up in these inflationary times. Now, as I talked about in other videos, rents are growing very quickly. So if you can just get some extra cash flow from an interest only loan, I highly recommend it and it's an option that you can work with. And third and last, what do you think rates are going to do on the long term? Are you talking to your lenders? Are they thinking rates are gonna drop in six to 12 months and there'll be a slowdown again to show the history of what the Fed has shown to do over interest rates for the long term? Ask yourself these questions, answer these questions, and I think you'll be able to make the best decisions for moving forward in your own new construction build to rent properties.